Hi everybody. Today we're going to be making a highly efficient and really inexpensive irrigation system for a vegetable garden out of PVC piping. The weather is getting nice again, which means we're going to be doing a lot more outdoor projects. I have about a 400 square foot vegetable garden that I want to create an irrigation system for and so I bought all these materials to do that. Let me run through all the things that we're going to need here. If you're going to do this, uh, I am using 3 quarter inch schedule 40 PVC. Um, you could do half inch, I chose to go with uh, 3 quarters of an inch. Also I have a whole bunch of end caps. I have these cross fittings. I have some T fittings. I have um, some couplings to connect pipes together to make them longer. And I have a whole bunch of valves. Now what you're going to need is going to be different than what I'm going to need. And for example, I don't have any elbows because I don't need them for the plan that I have, but you might need them. So it really depends on, on, on what you're going to do. Also very important, forgot to add this in here. I also have one threaded end here where this is going to help me make my connection with my water hose to this irrigation system. And also this is a swivel so that way I can connect the swivel to the irrigation system and also to the male end of my garden hose. So that's an important component. You're going to have to get that. Um, I bought all this stuff at my big box store. So I think um, you'll probably have an easy time finding everything yourself as well. I also asked for some help, especially for this swivel because I couldn't find it. Um, but these are all the things that I'm going to be using. And also you're going to need some, you're also going to need some primer and some all purpose PVC cement to make some connections. Now, not all of these are going to be connected with this material. Some things are just dry fit but you're going to need to use this for some of the fittings, especially the valves. Since my garden is very long this way and not so deep this way, I'm going to be running my valves right down this, this little strip right here. And then my, my irrigation lines are going to run this way. They're going to tee off. Um, this works for me. A lot of people uh, would just put, put the valves right along the perimeter, right up, up here and run their rows this way. I, I didn't choose to do that because I would need more valves and it would become more expensive. Uh, and I don't think I need it that way. I think I can just get, it, get the same irrigation with less valves um, and hopefully save some money in the process. I want to have a valve for each row spaced at about 32 inches. The purpose of the valves is so that way we can control how much water each irrigation line that we have set up is going to be spilling out onto our plants. The first thing you want to do before we get started is you want to take your PVC piping and you want to wrap them up in bundles of four with something. I use the zip tie um, and, and or you could use rope or you could use rubber bands, something to keep them perfectly in line like I have here. And I'm going to do the rest of them just like this. And what we're going to do after this is take our marker, put it between the two pipes and just run it all the way down. If you're having a problem getting your marker to write on these, you probably it's because they're dirty and you need to wipe them down. That's what I just did off camera. So you're probably asking yourself, why did we just do this? And the reason is because now, when, we dis when we're ready to drill our holes so that the water can drip out of it, they will all be perfectly in line with each other. We don't want holes in different places because then you're gonna miss the target of where your plant is. I'm going to be cutting down some of these pieces. I'm going to dry fit everything to make sure that we measured the right way and that our spacing is correct for the garden before we glue anything together. Now we're ready to start assembling this. Now the first part of this process is I want to assemble the main line where all the valves are going to be installed because once we have those appropriately spaced, we can run our irrigation lines off of that and we'll pretty much be done. So this is the hardest part. If you've never done any work with PVC and PVC cement, this is how you do it. So this is primer. This cleans the pipe and gets it ready so that we can make a permanent bond. 
You're going to take the primer, run it on the inside part of one fitting, and on the outside part of the other, of the male fitting. Then, you're going to take your cement. Take your cement, run it on the inside, and on the outside. And then you're going to put them together. Now, oops. It has a tendency of pull, pushing itself out, so you have to hold it in position for about 30 seconds, maintaining pressure. If you release before that 30 seconds is up, there's a chance that they'll detach, they'll pull away from each other. So you keep your hands, keep it, keep it locked in 30 seconds later, and you have a permanent bond. <laughs> you don't even say no hot dog. <laughs> I waited two and a half hours before I t ran a test on these. You need to wait at least two hours for this for these connections to dry. So this side of the garden is the long run. It's gonna require two full length uh, pieces of this PVC. They're each 10 feet long, so it's a 20 foot run. So we're gonna use a coupling to connect the two of them and then we're gonna cap it at the end. We are gonna dry fit these though. These don't get glued in. Um, and then that way, at the end of the season, you can remove them, it's more easy to store and you could also switch things up next year if you want. When you connect these, make sure you try to keep this black line the same with the two pipes. That way when you make your holes, they're all lined up. Now you make your last connection at the valve here. Again, it's a dry connection. Black line up, because now when we drill our holes, they'll all be lined up. And then we can twist it and change the angle if you want, and they'll all be the same. All right, I'm gonna be marking every location where I wanna put a hole. Now I'm gonna be using a 16th of an inch bit, and that should be enough where we can get a drip if we want, or we can get a, a steadier flow if we want. If you want an early glimpse as to what I'm working on, uh, check out Instagram. I'm on there, you can follow me, and I, I usually post pictures and videos of projects before I put them on my YouTube channel. Also, I have a website, it's artisanmadethings.com. You can get some free plans. All my videos are there, and I try to update it and keep it interesting as often as possible. So check that out.
that will do it for this one, everybody. If you have any questions about anything I did here, uh, just put it in the comments and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Um, also, if you're not subscribed, please think about doing that. I have a channel filled with different project videos. You can check those out. Um, and like always, be safe, be healthy, and I will see you in the next one.